Scout.com here with Penn State walk-on in Pennsylvania kicker Joey Julius. Joey, you uh, come down here to the Big 33 Classic this week as its kicker. What are you hoping to accomplish in this trip and why uh, it was important to play in this game? I mean, I grew up around here. It, it happens at my school. And, uh, yeah, it's a big honor to play here. And I've wanted to play here for a while, ever since I started playing football. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I mean, all my family can come to the game, all my friends, and just a lot of the community will be able to come out and support. So it's a big deal to represent our school here. You mentioned it's right in your backyard. Have you, I mean, I'm sure you've attended Big 33 games before. Yeah. So does it make it a little bit extra special? Yeah, I think it makes it a lot, a lot extra special. Um, I mean, the community was behind our team. We had a long run in states and Absolutely. Everything. So, and definitely with the whole Penn State aspect, too, because right. it's a big Penn State community. Mm -hmm. um, they love their football here, and uh, I know Lower Dolphin loves their football, too. So we actually have two kids that come out and support this year. Right, so. right. Your teammates can't stop making you smile behind us. Um, yeah. You know, what, what kind of bond have you built with those guys so far? Um, well, I mean, Noah Bay just walked by and made me laugh before this <laughs> even happened. But, no, I mean, we're all coming together, and it's, it's a really good thing. Um, getting to know our house families and people like that, and they always get us together. So right. we get to meet their kids, and we're hanging out with their kids, and everybody's hanging out together. So, I mean, it's only been two days, and we're really all starting to come together fine. Let's talk about Penn State. When will you head up there, and sort of how much? Are you looking forward to that? I'm going up for summer session, so okay. I'll go up June 29th okay. and get settled in. So just get through the summer and then the fall starts. There's a lot of kickers going up there. What, what do you think separates you from you know anybody else? What what, are you, what is your skill set that separates you from other kickers? Um, I mean, kicking the ball is what I've done my whole life. Right. And I know I can do pretty much anything with the ball. Right. Um, I think I'm skilled enough to be just as accurate and just as long. Mm -hmm. But I think I also bring like an athletic aspect to it too. So I'm a big kid, I'm not, I'm not right. light, and I think I could definitely even run the ball right. and go up for a couple passes here and there. So Yeah, I mean, for people that don't know your background, you played soccer pretty much all your life at a high level, and then obviously you go to college now for football. You know, let's talk about that decision. What was that like to make the choice to go for football instead of soccer, and how hard was that? It was a very hard choice because I chose to give up a full scholarship right. to pay for my first year. So it was a big deal, and my dad played professional soccer for right. 20 years. Um, soccer was our whole life, but this is just a new aspect of my life that I found, and I fell in love with it, and I just want to keep going with it. And I mean, I love Penn State. Right. So I didn't decide to play soccer there just from other reasons, but I think this is the best coaching staff and the best situation in the college. To well, you mentioned the coaching in. staff. How much contact have you had with them before? Have you I been in the talk class? to them every day? Okay. <laughs> so they they talk to me every day. I mean, we we're always back and forth. Even Coach Franklin's on vacation, and I'm still talking to him. Right. Um, but they're a great staff, and I think they care about us more than just as players. Well, what are some of the things they're telling you ahead of getting up on campus? You know, when you chat, what are some of the things they're sort of telling you and giving you ideas um, about? A lot of it was just about schoolwork, and <laughs> they just emphasized that it was the most important thing, and finish strong for finals mm -hmm. and everything. So that was the big thing, and just to keep kicking, and they were just so excited to get me up there and just get, get start playing. You guys are coming the class of 2014, a pretty decorated <laughs> class, as is. The class of 2015 is already up to 16 commitments. Mm -hmm. Do you follow the guys coming in after you as well and sort of the run that they've had with those guys? Yeah, I mean, I follow it, but I have teachers and my teachers that are always like, hey, did you see the new recruit we just picked up? And um, so, I mean, I pretty much know what's going on. I get all the updates on Twitter. I mean, social media, you can find out anything. But no, I mean, I definitely look more into the future because those are the classes that are going to be under Franklin and because he only really has half of a recruiting class right. now. So this is all his, this is his, and this is what he's building. So it's going to be exciting. Joey, what do you hope to accomplish before you get on campus this week? What, what are you looking forward to at the end of this week just to accomplish? Um, kick a lot of field goals and hit some deep punts. So I hope to score a touchdown, maybe. Okay. But Were you punt as well at Penn State, or did you just plan on kicking? Uh, I just plan on kicking, but if they need me to punt, I'll go out and punt. <laughs> right. So. All right.